is we have already completed the degenerate perturbation theory and uh, we consider a twofold degeneracy and out of this topic what we got we got the w by j for example it will be w a a r w a b r w b a r w b d this is equal to this means i i zero h prime this is the perturbation which we have introduced and then it is true for i j then we got the two equations which are very familiar equations the alpha w a a plus beta w b b is equal to alpha e1 and this equation now combining these two equation we got with the help of the quadratic formula the energy values the e1 e1 is the first order correction to the energy and then a plus and minus with this one this plus minus is basically is changing with this plus minus and finally we got the after getting the energy we got the when it is the unperturbed state psi a0 and we apply the perturbation on this one then the result is w a a and this is basically equal to e plus 1 and w b b is the perturbation applied on the unperturbed state psi b the zero means that it is unperturbed and this is h prime so all these things we have discussed earlier in the degenerate perturbation theory now in this lecture our job is to solve problem 6.6 uh, .6, and this problem is a bit lengthy but we are going to solve this one now what the problem is saying, uh, let me uh, discuss the statement of the problem that we are having psi plus minus 0 and this is equal to alpha plus minus psi a0 means we have written it as linear combination of the two unperturbed states. Then the first question in this one that we will have to prove that psi plus minus 0 are orthogonal. Orthogonal means that when psi plus 0 is multiplied with psi minus 0, then its result is coming out to be 0. Just like we are having psi m and psi n, and they were giving us 0, they were orthogonal. They were having an additional property that they were orthonormal. So we are at this moment only proving this thing to be orthogonal. And then we have the, in the next uh, part of this problem, it is being asked to prove that psi plus 0 and psi minus 0, when the perturbation is applied on this one, then this thing is also equal to 0. And finally, we will have to prove that when the perturbation is applied on this stage, then we get the energy E plus minus 1. Now, in order to solve part A, and part A is that we will have to prove that psi plus 0 and psi minus 0, they are orthogonal, they are perpendicular to each other. So that's why their inner product will be equal to 0. And we will start from here that first in order to solve part A, let me write psi plus from here that psi plus is equal means what I will have to prove is psi plus 0 inner product with psi minus 0 is equal to 0 means they are orthogonal and psi plus 0 from here is equal psi plus 0 is equal from this alpha plus psi a0 alpha plus psi a0 plus beta plus psi b0 and psi minus 0 is equal to 
alpha minus psi a0 plus beta minus psi b0. And now I will have to put these values and here I will have for psi plus I will put the value alpha plus psi a0 plus beta plus psi b0 and then the ket here is alpha minus psi a0 plus beta minus psi b0 and now I will have to multiply them so this is equal now here this alpha plus and this alpha minus will multiply but alpha plus is in the bra here so we will have to write it in the conjugate form so alpha plus in alpha minus and then I write psi a0 and psi a0 here in the Brian kit then alpha plus will be multiplied with beta minus so alpha plus again conjugate with beta minus and this is psi a0 and psi b0 and then the third term will be that beta plus will be multiplied with alpha minus so this is is these are just constants so there is no problem if I change their order so I can write that alpha minus and then beta plus but it will be in a conjugate because it is in the bra here and I will write psi b0 psi b0 and psi a0 I cannot change their order because it is in the bra here and it is in the kit. Then the last term is the beta plus and beta minus. So beta plus and beta minus and I have psi b0, psi b0 with psi b0 and the expression is now complete and now I will have to further multiply them so here this is alpha plus and alpha minus and this is in a conjugate form so I will have to write this is alpha plus and alpha minus and here I will have to write is alpha plus if I take its conjugate then it will remain the same because it's a constant so I will write that this is alpha plus and alpha minus what about psi a0 and psi a0 is these are orthonormal so I will have the same and then this will be equal to 1 while here psi a0 and psi b0 they are orthonormal so this will go to 0 and here this will go to 0 and this will go to 1 so they are orthonormal I will have to apply the condition the condition is that psi m and psi n and let me write 0 with them as well this is equal to delta mn the chronic delta if m is equal to m then we will have 1 if m will not be equal to n then we will have 0 so this is alpha plus alpha minus and plus beta plus and beta minus here now I have uh, reached the final uh, terms here and now I will utilize equation 1 or equation 2 means I can utilize both equation I will have to see the situation which one is best fitting my calculation or with which I can uh, do the calculation easily so equation 1 implies that alpha means 
here I am having alpha and here I am having alpha. So I will combine these two and I can write that alpha beta w ab is equal to alpha e1 minus this. So alpha is common and then e1 minus w a a and then this AB will also go there, so I will write that beta is equal to alpha over W AB and E1 minus E1 minus W A A. Now if this will be plus, so I will have plus here with alpha. If this will be minus, I will have minus with alpha, while rest of the relation will remain the same. So, I have this and I will now put it in this equation. So, I have just written beta in terms of alpha and then this equals alpha plus alpha minus and then I have beta plus for beta plus I will write alpha plus over W A B and then for beta minus I will have alpha minus and W A B and then I will have to write the plus one so E1 minus W A A and E1 minus W A A will be as it is. So I have the relation like this and further I can simplify this that I write this thing is I take alpha plus and alpha minus is common and then Look here, that this is W A B and W A B. So this I can write is W A B mod square. And if I take this one is common here, then what remains here, I will have means one will be here. So this W A B W A B mod square it will multiply with one. So I will have W A B mod square and then plus alpha plus alpha minus I have taken is common so only this term will remain which is E1 minus W A A and E1 minus W A A here ok I will have to differentiate between the two here because as I write plus minus here then the plus minus will come here as well. So this will be then plus and this will be minus and I will have to write the plus and minus with these minus W A A and this whole is divided by W A B mod square and that I have taken is common. So now after reaching over here, I can now utilize uh, this equation or let me, let me first simplify this further and to simplify this further, this thing is equal to alpha plus alpha minus over WAB mod square and then this one W A B mod square plus E plus 1 into E plus 1 E plus 1 into E minus 1 it's come here then E plus 1 with this one so this is minus W E minus this is E plus 1 E plus 1 first multiplied with this one and then E plus 1 will be multiplied with W A A and then 
e minus 1 minus e minus 1 is multiplied with w a a and then minus n minus become plus and w a a it will become w a a mod square so I have simplified this one let me write or rearrange the terms in more uh, easy way 